Hello Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be pulling cards from three of Doreen Virtue's decks. The Archangel Power Tarot, Archangel Michael, and the Romance Angels. I'm also going to pull from the Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. And I have already prayed over the cards and shuffled them so that we can expedite your reading. Okay, let's see what we've got going on. Okay. So the first card we have is Ten of Gabriel. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours and trying too hard to please other people. So I'm getting that there's a number of you that are just, life is just really out of balance right now. I get a number of you, you know, you're like type A personalities. You want to get everything done regardless of the toll it takes on you and your health and your relationship and your, and your life. And, and, I, and I get that that's, it's really taking a toll on you. So what they're encouraging you to do is start delegating some of the responsibilities, start asking for help, and, and, and also to be easy on yourself if you don't get everything done, because you, you don't have to get everything done, because you're, you're jeopardizing other things in your life for this unobtainable perfection that you're seeking, and that you beat yourself up over it. So they're encouraging you to not beat yourself up. You don't have to get everything done. You really don't. And you'll start to enjoy yourself and enjoy life more as soon as you realize that and, and you start sharing the responsibility and the things that you don't get done, just let go of the guilt of not getting it done. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel that, you know, you have to achieve everything. I get for some of you, you know, you, you do, you've got that overdeveloped sense of responsibility type A side of yourself. And I get for others of you, you're always trying to please others because out of like guilt, because like you don't want to disappoint people, you don't want to let them down, you feel that you've disappointed and let people down in the past. They're saying you need to forgive yourself and know that no one is as hard on you or thinks that critically of you at all. It's only you. So stop being so critical of yourself and judgmental of yourself and, and, and let that guilt and those feelings just go and, and start to please you. Take the focus off of pleasing everyone else and overextending yourself to please everyone so that you can please you. Do what makes you happy. Go have some fun. Bring some joy back into your life. Bring some balance back into your life because that will that will also help you because I get for some of you, you, you've got like some financial blocks. For some of you, you've got health blocks because you're out of balance and because you're so focused and you're just working constantly, that, that's caused blocks. So, so go have fun, go do some fun things, focus on you, you know, let that perfectionism go, let the responsibility of taking on everything go, and have some fun. And, and you'll notice that that balance that you're gonna bring back into your life is gonna bring some positive things into your life as well. Next card we have is Two of Ariel. It's important to have balance, <laughs> working multiple jobs or projects at once, and then making work fun. And this is again coming back to balance. There are so many of you that really, really have got to step away from working and start having fun because you really don't have to do everything. I, I get that you're just, you're working nonstop. I get it's affecting your health. For some of you that you're married, it's affecting your marriage. It's blocking other things in your life. So I get like for some of you, you know, you're you're salaried. So it's not like it's bringing more, you know, financial abundance in and your income hasn't changed, but you've noticed that money's tighter for you. Well, because you've created a block by, by not having balance, you've created a block to financial abundance. So by getting that balance back, you're going to notice your finances are going to improve. Your marriage will improve. You'll have happiness. These areas that are blocked will be transformed. They'll open back up. And again, a number of you are throwing yourself into work for emotional reasons, for guilt, for anger, not wanting to deal with your spouse, partner at home, not wanting to deal with a hurt, a pain, a loss that you've had. So you just throw yourself into work so you don't have to look at it, evaluate it, heal it, and release it. They're encouraging you to do that, and they'll help you. If you look, you've got three angels across the top, which is the Trinity. You know, you look at three, you've got, you know, God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Um, you have divine help to help you with this. For those of you that are throwing yourselves into work because you, you don't want to deal with something emotionally, some past hurts, some trials, tribulations, they're going to help you heal that. For those of you that it's just simply perfectionism, they'll help you heal that too and <laughs> let that go. 
but ask for their help and be open to receiving it. So when you get that intuitive nudge and that intuitive guidance, act on it. So let's say you, you pray, okay, Lord, please help me get more balance in my life so that everything else can work out in a more pleasurable, happy fashion for me to better improve my life. And let's say the next day you have a friend that calls you and says, hey, we're going to go to West Palm Beach for the weekend. Do you want to come join us? There's your sign. Say yes. Take a long weekend away. Go have fun because that is an answer to your prayer. So, so they're going to pray, ask them for help, and they will open up doors and avenues to help you get to that, that, that destination, that thing that you're asking for, and to help you get that balance. But um, they're, they're really saying to not block yourself. So I get for some of you, they're going to give you then those things and you're just going to keep blocking it out. Don't do that. Be open to that. Because when you ask for their help and they offer that to you, and you'll know. You know your intuition will trigger that, okay, this is the answer to my prayers. Act on it. Have faith and trust. So now the next card we have is forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and I forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So I get, for those of you, this is a message, you know, you're seeking happiness, you want happiness, you want joy in your life, but you're, you're blocked because you're blaming yourself and you're being critical and hard and judgmental on yourself for something that you feel you did or you did not do in the past. So that blame, it, it's, it's unhealthy, it's unproductive, it's, it's blocking you, it's for some of you causing health issues, it's causing financial issues. What you need to do is remember you, 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 you've done nothing wrong. You did the best you could in the situation that you could have possibly done. And you need to not blame yourself. So they're encouraging you to start thinking about yourself lovingly. You know, give yourself loving words. Stop reminiscing on the past and beating yourself up. Because I get for some of you, you had a relationship fall apart, a marriage fall apart, someone cheated on you, left you, um, hurt you and, you, and you blame yourself. You, it's as though you're like, okay, what did I do wrong? What could I have done better? Why wasn't I good enough? Why, why didn't they love me? Um, maybe if I would have tried harder, done more, there's nothing you could have done. It just was not meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Someone better will come into your life when the time is right. But the first step is to forgive yourself because that anger, that blame, that guilt that you have, that, that's blocking you from blessings and, and love and blocking you from happiness. For some of you, I get that this is about your children. For some of you, I get, so when you look here, you'll, you'll see the angels holding a young child. And I get for some of you, you feel as though you let your kids down. You could have been a better parent. You could have done things differently. I get for some of you, like, ugh, you think if you would have done things differently, the situation would have turned out differently. So what they're saying is, for some of you, you, you may have lost a child. It may have been something like a drug addiction that the child had, a car accident, um, something your child's on the other side now. And you blame yourself. You think that um, if I would have kept closer tabs on them, I would have realized that there was a heroin addiction, that there was um, a problem there and it could have stopped it. You couldn't have. Or for some of you, you know, if I would have driven him or her to school, you know, they wouldn't have had the car accident on the slippery roads. Nice. You couldn't have stopped that. So our souls, when we come here to, to earth, we have certain lessons and things that we're going to do. So when your child came in and incarnated, that's part of their life path and their journey. And, and it's hard when we're in pain to understand why those things happen as they did. And may never, you know, sometimes we may never understand why, but, but there is a reason. And for those of you that are in this situation, I'm getting that they want you to know you did nothing wrong. And, and your child is on the other side. They, they, they are with you. They're saying that they can help you more from the other side than they can here. And that they love you, that they're with you, but they can help you more from the other side. And, and to, not blame, to stop blaming yourself and feeling guilty because they love you. It was nothing of you. It was, it was their path. It was their choice. They choose to go to the other side because they can help you and still be with you every day. And I keep getting that they can help you more 
from the other side. So to forgive yourself and release that guilt because they're still with you. Okay. Row down here is about love. First card we have is wedding. Now I do get for some of you, this is, you know, straight up meaning, you know, you're, you're going to be getting married. Maybe you've met someone, you're questioning, is this the right person or not? Is this person I'm going to be with? Yes, that's the person you're going to marry. I get some of you will actually be getting married. For some of you that are married, I'm getting that you can revitalize your marriage, that you can bring that spark and that joy back in, that you can heal that relationship. So for some of you, if you can step back from working all the time and focus on your relationship, take a long weekend away or take a week-long vacation and, and bring that spark, that romance, that flirting, that joy back in because that will transform your marriage. And for some of you, I get that, that your marriage, and, and even for some of you that have been in a long-term relationship, I get that it's very rocky, and it's been rocky for a long time, where you've just, you've even been discussing divorce and, and ending the relationship. And I get that, that you could turn around and, and, and transform your relationship, your marriage, you know, by healing your heart and healing the relationship. Maybe it's taking the vacation together. Maybe it's enlisting the help of a, a marriage counselor. But I do get for some of you, you can completely transform it. Just take the focus and put it on your, your marriage. I get for some of you, though, that this is tying... See how this is talking about forgiveness, forgiveness. What they're saying is for some of you, you're in a marriage, you're in a relationship, that, that, that person cheated on you. For some of you, you can salvage it. But for others of you, you need to forgive yourself, you need to forgive them. But it's it's signifying it's time for you to move on because I, I get for a number of you in that situation you know you found out that they were cheating on you and, and you've done everything that you can and you've been trying to salvage the relationship but it's just not working but you're just holding on out of guilt so they're asking you to forgive yourself and love yourself enough to know that you deserve better and they, and they they deserve better you both deserve happiness it's not with each other and to love yourself enough to forgive and allow yourself to move on. And then again, for some of you that are in that situation who haven't put in all the work and tried to salvage it, I get that, that you can by getting some marriage counseling, taking a trip, and that'll put the spark back in. But they're saying you are going to have to trust. So for, for those of you that are in that boat where you can salvage it, you are gonna to have to completely forgive and forget because you can't continue to bring it up and throw it up in that person's face. Because I get almost like there's been a lot of arguments about it because even though you, you know, you've know you told them, okay, I forgive you, you haven't forgiven them. And, you, and, and because you were hurt so badly, you bring it up frequently, which just leads to arguments. So, so you really truly will have to completely let it go so that you can move on. And for those of you that have done the work and you can't, and you know it's just time to move on, Forgive yourself, forgive them so that you can do that. And love yourself. So I guess for some of you, you know how your type A is, you're very, very, everything has to be perfect, perfectionists, that, you know, you take that out on yourself. You're very, I get that you're very critical of yourself. So if you read the bottom, it says, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. But I get for this that a number of you, you're just, you're very critical of yourself. You're just not loving of yourself. And people will treat us the way that we treat ourselves. So what they're encouraging you to do is to start loving yourself because I get for some of you that, are, you know, you're just very judgmental of yourself. You know, I'm, I'm overweight and it's swimsuit season and oh my gosh, and I'm feeling like a chunky monkey and, uh, I don't have a six digit salary and no one's ever going to want me. Well, well, that's what you're attracting. So, so if you're, if you're not feeling love of yourself and confidence of yourself and knowing that you're amazing, your salary's perfect. You got a roof over your head. You're beautiful as you are. You're going to draw that into you. So what you're feeling and thinking about yourself is what you're going to see manifest in, in, in relationships and romantic interests. And that's not what you want. So you're being encouraged to start loving yourself, to stop beating yourself up, to really look at yourself non-critical and in a loving way. And, and, and if you are a person, you know, if there are things you're not happy, fix that, change that. Don't beat yourself up. And don't look at it as though it's a negative. I mean, if there's something that you truly just want to improve, like you want a better job because, you know, you've got a dream of living in a certain town, well, then pursue that from a, hey, I want to better myself. 
not from a, I want to do this because I'm not good enough. So, so don't beat yourself up, love yourself. And, and for some of you, okay, so for some of you that throw yourselves into work for, for emotional reasons, blaming yourself, doubting yourself. I get that you have a partner that's treating you the same way. So for some of you, you know, you're very critical of yourself. Your, your partner, your spouse, they're treating you that way. They're, they're, they're talking down to you. They're not being respectful of you. They're not loving you. I'm getting that you need to love yourself and you need to set boundaries for them. Because we allow people to treat us the way... Well, people will treat us the way we allow them. So I'm getting to, to love yourself so you will not allow that behavior because you deserve better. And that when you do set those boundaries, you do love yourself, they're going to start treating you better. Now, for a couple of you, they may not. The relationship may very well end, but that's meant to be because they're not right for you. They're not treating you with love and compassion. You deserve better. But again, for some of you, your partner is going to rise to the occasion. They're actually going to have more respect for you. And, and you're going to see that in their actions. So, so really love yourself, set some boundaries. For those of you that are in relationships, for those of you that aren't in relationships, just you know, start to love and appreciate yourself and you'll see that someone will manifest that will love and appreciate you, which is ultimately what you desire. Last card we have is forgiveness, which does go with a, a big theme is forgiveness so that you can move forward into happiness. Now, if you can read the bottom of it, it says nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So really be willing to forgive yourself be willing to forgive others because that's the doorway that's the thing that's going to lead to your future your happiness your personal growth your your well-being so for those of you in the relationship you can restore that love and that trust but you'll have to forgive to do that and for some of you you just need to forgive yourself so that you can move forward and let that pain go and, and move in move into the happiness that you really do seek. So, and, and it all hinges off of forgiveness. Remember that you're amazing. Remember you've not done anything wrong. You've done the best you could. Remember you are lovable. You are worthy of those great things. And then what you'll find is, if you can do this, this forgiveness work and, and balancing, balancing things out. So, many thanks to everyone for subscribing to my channel i appreciate it thank you for all the comments i do love hearing back from you so any feedback that you have is much appreciated filled with a lot of love joy and blessings